everyone, this is Elisa from uh, Inaya's Toy Box Crochet and I wanted to talk about how to wire a doll. Uh, I'm not going to talk much about wires, I am experimenting with this new type of wire that I've never, well I've used once before but I feel like I need to do a couple more uses before I could give a good opinion. Is it? There it is. It's called wire wrapping wire, it's electrical wire. Um, it's new. I've used it once before. Um, it's very thin, so I doubled it up. So now I feel like I can't give a true opinion of what that is because I doubled it up. So I'll be able to remake that video where I talk about wires after I figure out how I feel about these dolls. Okay, so I wanted to talk about how to wire a doll. Um, there, I will link the video that I learned, that I used to learn how to wire a doll. Uh, in the description below. It's a Spanish video, so I thought it'd be nice to have an English video for the English speakers out here. I, I learned just by watching. I don't know a word she said because I don't speak Spanish. So um, I wanted to show, I've already started my doll. These are the arms. And as you can see, there is one piece of wire for both the arms. I am not gonna put separate wires for the arms. It's one long piece of wire that's going to cover both the doll, uh, both the arms. Same thing for the legs. One piece of what? One piece of wire for both the legs. Right here. Uh, I did not make the other leg on purpose, so I could show you what I do. Okay, so first of all, we want to know how much, how long should we cut our wire? And that's a really, really tricky question. Uh, that because that's because it, it depends on like what yarn you use, what pattern you use. Dolls come in all different sizes. Um, if you use like worsted weight yarn, you're going to need more wire. If you use DK yarn, you're going to need more yarn, wire. This is sport weight yarn. I will need less wire than either of those. But it's really difficult to tell you how much you need. Now, I do give a measurement for my Madison pattern, and I'm going to cut up that much for you to show you. And uh, the measurement is like really the amount that I used. Does that mean you're gonna use it and it's, enough, it's big enough for you? Not really. You might crochet tighter than me. You might crochet looser than me. All of this, how long your wire needs is just so, it depends on too much stuff to really give you a good estimate of how much wire you need. But when you're estimating how much wire you need, you should always estimate for more. It's easier to hide wire in the head than it is it's going to be to actually, you know, put more wire. I mean, it's not hard to put more wire. I just find it's smoother, it's better if you have one wire or two wires in this case. These are the two wires that I will use in the entire doll. This will take care of the leg, the body, and the neck support. These two wires. Hopefully, this will take care of neck support. It's very flimsy. Uh, I am hoping, I am experimenting. These two wires is for the entire body. You don't need any more wire than this. If you're putting more wire in it, that's okay. If you feel you need to, you do it. I feel like the less wire there is in a doll, the safer it is for everybody. Um, the less likely anything will poke out. The less likely, um, yeah, basically that's my biggest, my biggest problem is when wires poke out. I don't want my wires to poke out. I don't want my wires to snap. So I just feel the less wire you have in your doll, the better it is. So you're gonna need one long piece of wire for your legs, for your legs, and one not so long for your arms. So like I said, giving you the measurements is really hard. But in my Madison pattern, I am. So I am gonna work on a different doll. So I'm gonna cut the wires for that doll in front of you. Um, but I just want, I'm gonna cut it for Madison size, even though it's not my Madison pattern. I just want you to understand that making, uh, you know, cutting the wire, it really it does depend. And unfortunately, you don't have the doll to measure beforehand uh, to know, oh, it's definitely gonna be this long that I need it. You just have to kind of guess it. And I would always add an extra inch or two, even, uh, to make it better. So I am measuring the wire. That is 12 inches. I, I said 22 e inches. So this is 24. But you know what? I like having that extra 
inch or so. So I'm going to cut it right here. So I get my wire cutters, cut it. All right. So now that I have this, this is the wire that's probably, yes, it is. This is the wire that's going to be from the legs to the neck, okay, of the doll. So now I'm going to have to do something. And what I have to do is this wire is really soft, but wire is usually not this soft. Um, I'm going to have to cover this up. So what I do is I take my pliers. I always have pliers when I crochet, especially when I'm sewing. I need pliers badly then. And you kind of just twist it like that. So you kind of just make a twist. So you make a little loop. And then if you want, you can crush it like this. Now, ideally, at this point, you would take out some duct tape and you would tape up the ends so that nothing falls. I unfortunately forgot to get my duct tape. So we're going to pretend that I already did that. I am going to do it later. Um, we're going to pretend that I did it. So how do I like, when do I want to put my wires in? Now, I like to stuff as I go. And if you're going to, these things are really small. You can't really stuff as you go. Uh, I'm not going to stuff the arms at all. So technically, I could have put the arms on right now. I could have put the wire in right now after I finished the arms, and it would have been perfectly fine. I am going to move this light. I feel like, is that better? No? OK, whatever. Um, I'm not going to stuff the arms, so technically I could have put it in there. This one, the legs are pretty, this is a very super thin doll. This is a really thin doll. Um, the legs are super thin. I am going to stuff the top of it, but I'm just going to show you as though I was going to be stuffing as I go. It's a little easier with a doll shaped like this to put the wire later or one of the legs which are straight, but when you have a uh, shapely doll, when it's got like knees and sh uh, you know thighs and shins, you kind of need to stuff as you go to make sure that it's stuffed nicely. Trying to stuff later is a headache. It really is. It's awful. And so I always like to crochet around the wire. Now this is tricky. It is not comfortable and it never gets comfortable. But I feel like I get my best doll if I insert the wire when it's about this tall. So this is how tall the leg will eventually be, but I'm inserting the wire right now. And what I'm gonna do is just crochet around the wire, okay? So I will just take my stitch marker off and crochet with the wire there. Now this gets tricky. It's not comfortable or easy. Uh, because there is another leg attached to the wire. This kind of swings around and you have to take it with you everywhere you go. You don't have to do it like this. This is my preference for when I am working with a, uh, with a doll that is shapely. Oops. And this will happen too. The wire will fall out. Now usually I would have, I didn't put the, the tape in yet, so I'm not going to right now, but I would put stuffing in there to kind of hold it. I would stuff it just a little bit to hold the wire in so it doesn't fall off while I'm crocheting. I was about to ask how you hold the wire in. Yeah, you'd put crochet in, but I'm not ready to actually insert the wire because I didn't put the tape on. So basically, I will just hold it like this. The wire is there. I'll pretend it isn't and just kind of crochet around the wire. This wire is about to fall off again because I have nothing anchoring it in. But you get the idea. So I'm going to show you how to wire the ball or the doll I am going to work on the doll and um, when I get to a certain point where I, um, which is the neck when I get to the neck of the doll I will come back to this video and I will show you how to make sure your neck is supported or your doll's neck is supported and also show you how to hide the extra because your your wire you might have cut it too long and it might be like taller than your uh, doll. So I'm just going to show you, you know, from my experience, what I learned about how to tuck it in. Um, so that's going to be in a couple of days. For you, it's going to be a minute, but for me, it's going to be in a few days. So I will get back to you when my doll is bigger. All right. Uh, bye. See you in a bit. Everyone, I'm back. Um, it's been a couple of seconds for you, but for me, 
It's been a couple of days. I finished her body. I finished her legs and started her body. So I just wanted to show you that when you get to this point, the wire will get in the way when you're pushing unless, I mean, it has been getting in the way all this time, but now you don't have to have it get in the way. Just kind of twist your wires a little bit so that it's just one piece. And so when you're crocheting, it's just gonna be one piece in the middle and you could just, it doesn't get too much in the way. You just need to crochet around it and it'll be fine. So this is, uh, I didn't tell you the names of these patterns in case you wanna, you're interested. Uh, this is Sabrina from Jin's Sweet Little Gift. And this one is Glinda from Crochet Garage. Anyways, we don't need her anymore. So what I wanted to show you right now is how I get the neck support. Oh. If you notice, the wire is really different and I am not bothered by this wire being so long. I am a little bothered by this wire being too short. Anyways, I'll show you what I do for neck support. So this doll, I'm about to start doing a few rounds of decreases to get to the neck. So before I do that, what I like to do, and for most wires you'll need pliers for this, is kind of just push it down like that. So this wire, like I said, it's really, really soft. And because it's really soft, you don't really need the pliers. But for most of them, you'll need the pliers. So here it is. I'm going to twist it so it's like one. So it looks like this. And I think just for added support, I'm going to just do it again. Now this should be really adequate neck support. Also by the time we get there, um, get to this point, we'll be able to do the neck. I'm assuming, I'm hoping, the neck will be around here. And this is not gonna get in the way of your stuffing the doll. It'll be perfectly fine. And that's what I meant by if you want to, if you're not sure how, to, how long to cut your uh, wire, you should cut it longer because you want to be able to do this with your doll. Now, uh, right now I'm just gonna, this is a paid for pattern, so I'm not gonna do it on camera. I'm just gonna get up to the neck and just show you what it looks like when the neck is done. Okay, so as you can see, this wire, it fits in perfectly here with the neck, and it is a little bit difficult to crochet. Let me bring my light a little closer. Does that help? It is a little bit difficult to crochet with the wire inside. So you do have to kind of go slow and dig your, you know, dig in a little bit. But you know what, it's doable. It's not as fast as say if you were doing it, um, you know, without the wire. But you know what, these dolls, they need neck support no matter what whether you're making it with wire or not. Like, if I'm not making it with wire, I'd use cotton swabs over here to make net, uh, to give it neck support. Because if it doesn't have neck support, then it's gonna be floppy. It's gonna be a floppy head. So you need to make sure there's neck support. And I am gonna take off the stitch marker and I'm just gonna count my stitches because the stitch marker is annoying me. Um, here it is. All right, so you, you really need to have neck support. And so it is annoying getting into the stitches uh, without when you have a wire in there. And you kind of do have to reach and dig and manipulate stuff a little bit. But you know what? Normally necks are like just a few rows, maybe two or three at max. It's not that much. So yes, it's annoying but you only have to deal with being annoying, annoyed for just a tiny little bit. Ah. And yes, when you use such a small hook, splitting happens. All right, I'm almost done with this round. And then I'll show you how stiff the neck is right now. And you know what, you don't want the neck ever 
this piece to ever end at the top of the neck. If it ends at the top of the neck, then it's not going to have much support. It, it's just still going to flop because the weight of the um, the weight of the head is still going to make it flop. So you always want there to be a piece up here that's going to go into the head so that it doesn't flop around. And that's it. That's how you warrior it all. It's not too hard. It is a little tricky uh, in some points, like for example, the necks. And it's tricky to uh, crochet around the wire, which you absolutely don't have to do. I mean, these two dolls, their legs are pretty straight. You don't need to worry too much. I mean, uh, this one, it's so thin. I'm using sport weight yarn for this tiny doll. And the doll itself is tiny. Like if you look at the, the stitch counts and uh, how many, the row count, it is a small doll. And I'm using sport weight yarn for this. So there was really, until like around here, there's no place to stuff it. So I didn't even stuff this. So I could have put it in, put the wire in later and it would have been fine. Whereas uh, stuff like this, because it's so long, I like to put the wire in earlier and, and crochet around it because, because it is so long, sometimes you can't uh, stuff as evenly as you want with a stuffing tool. I mean, I use my stuffing tool to stuff these things. But I find that if I put the wire in later and I'm trying to get the stuff stuffing all the way down here and make sure it comes up evenly all the way up, it doesn't work so well for me. So for legs that are this long, um, I always put the wires in first and just crochet around the wire. That is a little tricky, but it is totally doable and I do it every single time. I always crochet around the wire. Um, when I get over there, um, this one's neck is not going to have as much support because I don't have much to fold in. I mean, there will be another two, you know, two wires coming in when I attach the arms, but it's not going to have as much support. So I may have to add wire to this one. Um, I think because I had just made this one when I cut the wires, I just cut it too short. I needed to cut a longer wire and I didn't. So I may have to add wire and I absolutely hate adding wire. I just feel like there's already so much wire in there, so much to poke out. We want to keep it at two pieces, not more than that. But um, Glinda from Crochet Garage may have to have more wire in her so she could have adequate neck support and so that I could do something like this for Glinda. So I, I'm actually glad it turned out this way so you could see that it's better to make the mistake of having too much wire than it is to have too little wire because you could get adequate neck support if you have too much wire. Whereas this girl, I might have to add wire to make sure she gets better neck support. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you in some way to learn how to wire, to put a wire frame on your doll. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, uh, comment or contact me in, through Instagram, Facebook, whatever, I answer everything. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. If uh, you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.